Alright, in this video I am going to be looking at what the toe-in angle for a Ford Focus is. Uh, my Ford Focus is 1.5 TDCI 2015. Now I've got this Ford e-manual downloaded for £16, something like that. And <clears throat> watch one of my other videos to learn how to download and install this very important package. Now, I just want to show you one thing before we go to the page where I find the information. Now, I'm also in this video, I'm going to prove also to myself what my towing angle is after I've done some uh, work on the on the suspension I took the lower control arm off and I just want to check how much it's changed uh, compared to what it was I know I set it up perfectly I just can't remember exactly or you know was it exactly the 12 minutes toe in that I thought it should be that I set it to also um, I'm going to check the rear as well because I think you get information for the rear and on the Ford Focus you can actually change the rear towing angle of, of the vehicle. So one thing, one cool thing I just want to show you why you should get this as well. Uh, look, look at this. Look, look just here. Look. You can choose any of these cars. Not only is this 16 pounds going to give you the Ford Focus down here, which is the one I want here, and it's also got the 2019 model. We've got the Mondeos, the British Mondeo, and look, it should have the Mustang. Unbelievably, it's got the Mustang. So, if I select 215 Mustang, it's not, it's not actually getting it. It really is the Mustang. So, chassis. General information. Oh, let's go for the engine powertrain. If you want to know what a Mustang engine looks like, you, let's go for the V8, uh, five litre. Well, they're all about to say this one here. The three hundred, four hundred eighteen. Is there one bit that's higher? One hundred eighteen. I guess that is horsepower. Look at all that. Look at all this. Look at all this. It's no joke. There were some pictures I couldn't find on changing the timing belt for the Ford Focus. And I found better pictures for and better explanation on the Ford Fiesta. So it's really, really cool. For sixteen pounds, I've got. I don't know if this is a mistake or not. Whatever you do, do not upgrade. Change it, upgrade. Once you've got this package, just leave it as it is. It'll, it'll keep tempting to upgrade. Don't upgrade anything. If it works, just leave it. Because it might start working out. Oh, hang on a minute. You've got more than you paid for. Look at this. This is the Ford Mustang. Right, back to what it should be done. So, for Ford Focus, 2015, if I don't change this date it won't work, if I left it at 2014 it won't work, 2015, <coughs> mechanical repairs, Does not all of the functions work, you've got to be like a technician, have it plugged in at the uh, dealership to be able to access some of the functions, I can't remember what ones that won't work were. Uh, so we are looking at chassis, aren't we? Uh, suspension. <coughs> See if it's on the general. Uh, 1.5, it's 120 or 125, I can't remember. So it's not eco, but it's, it's this one, 125. Oh, here it is. All right, so. I'm going to scroll down slowly and zoom in. Well, I'm not going to zoom in, but you take your time and read this 
for them to find the one that's right for you. So wheel alignment, a curb weight, four and five door. So this is the normal hatchback. We're looking at towing. Yep, it does show on my screen. Towing at 0.2 degrees. 0.2 works out to be, if you're using a machine like mine, 12 minutes towing. Plus or minus, so it could be at zero, it's still okay. So between zero and quite a bit of towing. So 0.2 degrees or 12 minute towing is the ideal. Front wheel alignment, four or five door sport, same thing. Wagon, front wheel alignment, curb, this is the one I'm interested in. It's, mine's a wagon, 12 minutes towing, they all seem to be the same. Front wheel alignment, curb weight, at wagon sport, same. Rear wheel alignment, so this is important now. This is one we're gonna, four door, five door. Rear wheel on the attached back, it's a bit more. So there's a bit more towing, I have to work that one out. I can work it out very quickly by getting a calculator out. 38 degrees. This is how you work it out. So, so it'll be so. 0.2 is basically one fifth. One fifth of a degree. We know 60 minutes <coughs> in a degree. So 60 divided by 5 gives me 12. There's my 12 there. So 60 minutes uh, per degree. So 0.2, let me work that out mathematically. Right, here it is. So, oops, I'm going to show up again. So, unless I do that, oh, I better switch the light on, you won't better see it. There we go. One minute, one degree is 60 minutes, so 0.2 degree is 60 times 0.2, so 0.2 degree equals 12 minutes. 30.38 degree is 60 minutes times 0.38, it's 22.8 minutes. So to the rear for all of the forward focuses is 22.8 minutes, official, plus or minus 0.2, so plus or minus 12 minutes, plus or minus 12 minutes on all of them, and um, the front, which is probably more important, is toe in, because toe in is positive at 12 minutes, and rear is toe in at 22.8 minutes. All right. All right, because I've got so many curb rashes and curb rash repairs on my car, I've decided to take and that was a long while ago it was like on my old tires I just changed I used to have like a rim that uh, came up I used to rest these arms on that rim that was perfect um, because these new tires haven't got that rim I'm just using the center of that line on the center of this line here that runs that you can just about see and these are by the way uh, Kumho Eco Eco Wing ES31 tyres that I'm testing out. So here, right bang there. Make sure that line touches that line there. And um, because I'm doing the rear of the vehicle due to mud guards and things that gets in the way. Uh, so I do it to the rear and then reverse it. So if it's showing toe out, it's actually toe in. So it's saying it's 10 minutes toe out which is perfect which means it's 10 minutes towing so no no need to change this phew that's one fewer job that i need to do hope you can see that when i was testing on the rim earlier i made a couple of attempts it was giving me all sorts of strange figures but this one i'm pretty happy with uh, because i know that the tire is new and i know that it's going to be equal on both sides i know if i rest these arms and i balance the bubble the air bubble Everything's going to be perfect, which it is. Right, let's do the back. Right, this is the rear, and I've just here's the front of the car going that way, and I've just because there's not a lot in the way, just done it as normal. So toe in means toe in. 
and it's saying it is 12 12 minutes time so they've set the rear and the front exactly the same it should be 22 22 minutes there you go 22 minutes 23 minutes toe in and set it on 12 so it makes me think they're just setting the front and rear on 12 which is okay actually so I know my system works where I'm balanced when I'm taking the uh, toe where the marker on this tire is I know it works because I it makes sense that they'll set this the rear to the same as the front but manufacturers say it should be on uh, 30 28 28 minutes 20 sorry 22.8 that's fine I know my my decision to take it at the wheel is on the tire rather than the rim because it's all of the uh, repairs I've done is a good idea right then so I'm happy no need to balance one fewer job to do thanks for watching please hit like subscribe button so once again you want to know for all forward focuses the towing angle should be uh, 12 minutes at the front and looks like the manufacturers do 12 minutes at the rear as well I wouldn't change it it's not worth changing definitely not worth changing the rear to match what it says in the uh, the uh, electronic manual 12 and 12